Okay, this week we're tying this uh, ice jig here. This is a uh, just a little tungsten jig with a on an A-Rex hook. So it's a, a super strong hook. Um, I've caught tons of big fish on these small hooks, actually. As far as you know, small panfish jigs go. I mean, these these will hold pike. I've caught steelhead on them. It's you know they're very strong hooks. Uh, this one here is uh, when it's done. I'm gonna pop that one out and put another one in here. We're gonna tie it up for you guys and show you how I do it. This is uh, a new hook for this uh, ice jig. Last year I used the A Rex 550. FW550 in size 10 and it's a very good hook it's just this uh, is a longer shank it's the same hook band and, and everything pretty much just a longer shank so that gives you just a little bit more room for whatever you're gonna put on there bait or plastics or whatever I mean I fish this a lot with plastics and I, I love them they get down pretty quick with the tungsten it's all smooth body um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to pop this one out and we're going to tie one up. So this one that we're tying is an A-Rex 554, a Trek hook. And the bead on here is a 4.6, it's a bead from just from hairline. It's a 4.6 millimeter tungsten in uh, metallic pink I'm gonna tie this fly with 140 Vivas power thread and the lead wire I'm gonna be using is gonna be 025 lead wire from uh, hairline I'm just attaching my thread here cutting off the excess and we're gonna get some of this lead we're gonna use that to get this uh, bead in place so I'm going to take about a three quarter of an inch piece I'm going to fold it over like so take some pliers crimp it down You don't have to make it real skinny, especially with this bead. It's, uh, these beads are real wide in the back. So you can place that on top of the hook. Tighten it down with thread. Don't go too far back. I'm going to trim off these pieces of lead. Just kind of start making a taper to this body. That's all we're really trying to do is we're just going to make a tapered thread body and we're going to go back over it with a nail polish actually and that's going to seal everything up make it a nice smooth body so it cuts through that water good all right so i'm going to take another piece of this lead 025 lead I'm, uh, just a single strand put it up into this bead but right on top of the two other pieces of lead we're just going to trim that off same thing following that taper of that body sorry for my fingers in the way <laughs> cutting it super tight on this spool of power thread but you know gotta live life dangerously all right and then i'm just gonna put a couple hitches half hitches in here or whip finish whatever you want to do whip finish would definitely look better but this is all going to be hidden anyways once we come back in with our nail polish it's gonna seal everything give us a nice smooth body so for this one I'm going to use for any nail polish I like to use I like to use Sally Hansen this is Sally Hansen extreme it's just like a, a glitter one this one has two different sizes of glitter 
uh, could use clear you could use I have a, a silver one as well actually a silver flake it's very nice looking but I'm just gonna gob this up on there make sure it gets down in that hole in the, the slot of your bead This bottle is actually getting old. It's uh, <laughs> it's pretty thick. <laughs> Need to be replaced, but I haven't found that same glitter. I'm a <laughs> nail polish connoisseur. <laughs> so you're just gonna move this around a little bit. Just make sure you know you got good coverage all the way around. I don't like how much is on the other side there. So, yeah, this is how it's going to present itself in the water, you know, more at a downward angle. I just don't want to touch this. This is still wet. Yeah, this tungsten jig is great for, I mean, the, with a nice strong hook and this nice heavy bead, tungsten bead, you can fish this for many different fish in our harbor here in Buffalo. I caught tons of different fish on this Uh bigger pike over 30 inch pike you know in our local with uh a, just a small little plastic on here and a tungsten jig i mean you'd be surprised at <laughs> what will eat that <laughs> bait isn't always needed but that's the other thing you can do is just run wax worms on here uh it works great for that it holds them it's got a barb you know gets down quick uh, all the uh materials to tie this fly well, fly, jig, whatever you want to call it, is, uh, are available. But besides the nail polish, the hook and the beads are available on the our online store, queencityguiding.com. Um, the link should be below in this video here. If you just click on any of those links on any of our video, it'll take you right to the material. Um, yeah, happy fishing. Enjoy the ice fishing while it's still here. It's uh actually pretty nice day out here today in Springville uh, thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe have a good one I'm in no way sponsored by 13 fishing although I'd love to be but this Banff plastic in these two colors Cha -cha.